up? Cool shows every day here. We're at the Cheapskate Nation garage. We're having an issue here with the uh, Brinkley 3500 Model G. These things come with a flex power dual fuel generator, both gas and propane. Um, I've been leaking fuel, or not fuel, but mo motor oil. If I zoom in here, you can see a good amount of oil on the bed or on the floor. But we're having an issue getting it out of its little cubby hole there. I think once we get it out, we can find the source of the, the oil leak and um, go from there. All right, getting it out was tough because they don't give you any slack on the electrical components. So you got a wiring harness here, positive and negative from the batteries there. And then you've got the major electronic harness. And you can see here, you got maybe two foot right and it comes through that hole and it pops out the other side and it connects to this box so you have to disconnect the electrical from here disconnect the positive and negatives from here and that's only half then you got to do the, your fuel <clears throat> there's actually three lines this is a dual fuel so this is the propane connection for the propane fuel, it goes down and underneath. But we also got a fuel line and what appears to be an emissions control valve line. So don't mind that. That's dripping gas. Put that right there. So that's the propane line. This is the fuel line. I accidentally broke that one when I was pulling it out. There's just not enough slack, you see? They don't give you enough slack to work on these things. And then this is the last line. Pull that one out. Set it there. Put that up high. Keep that from here. Okay, so now that all the connections are loose, I believe we can pull her out. And then get these off. Let's cover off. Okay. Alright, just got back from O'Reilly's. Uh, picked a couple things. We got a new fuel filter, two foot of fuel hose, quarter inch, and a couple new uh, clamps for the fuel lines. It's always good to replace the fuel, the clamps if you can. So the plan is they don't give you enough fuel line from the fuel source in the rear of the toy hauler to the front where the onboard generator is. So when I was pulling it out, it, I broke it. So I'm going to replace it, but it's going to be really, really difficult to put the fuel line back on the fuel filter with it in place. So I'm going to take this fuel line here and I'm going to connect it. This is the end where I'm going to connect it. I'm going to put this on. That'll give me two feet. And then where the fuel line goes out, which is here. On the bottom, under here, this is this is the fuel line. I'm gonna put a fuel filter, and it'll just be down here. And oh, I don't know if I even showed you that we found the we found the culprit. Here is the front of the generator, or the oil cap. There is a secondary oil cap here, and this was complete completely screwed off. I mean, which explains why we were getting oil in the top underneath on the cap and um, all down underneath there so glad to know we did have actually have to pull all of the whole thing out you know it's been a big undertaking I've been at this for like two and a half hours I'm really glad that they got it in there really snug and all but PIA to get it out alright let's get to it Last week I filmed myself tracking down an oil leak on my Flex Power 5500 onboard generator of our Brinkley Model G3500. We had started leaking oil at some point and we're having difficulty pinpointing the origin, which led me to have to extract the, the generator. Um, it was kind of a brutal process. They really don't give any slack at all in the electrical um, or the fuel line components. 
so we made some modifications so you won't get to see the restall because it's already done but i'll show you what it looks like now and then some tips and tricks for you if you ever get in the same pinch so first here's the initial oil cap there's a secondary in the rear it is physically impossible to access the rear first of all this cap is held on by four recessed phillips head screws but even if you could access those you don't have the head clearance to pull the cap off okay you got real tight electrical lines your positive and negative your main electrical hardness that connects you to the batteries over here and then over here you got your fuel line there's a single hole in the rear that they drop down so they're all kind of channeled underneath the machine here so that was difficult and the way that we made sure that we didn't have to do that again is we went to the store we got the proper components and we extended those lines and i'll show you what i did now we're directly underneath the trailer now this is the drain cap for the drain plug it's your exhaust pipe it's just two 10 millimeter bolts i believe that hold that on and then you've got this sorry about that sun this metal skid plate here that houses your fuel lines that's the exhaust pipe so now we're on the driver's side of the unit this is the opening to that metal skid plate here's the fuel filter with the extension that i put on right you can see that there's fuel in there we did run a test there are no leaks this is perfectly acceptable um not worried about fuel restrictor or anything like that the main thing is if you decide to put a fuel filter on is that fuel filters are unidirectional the arrow will point you know go this way make sure you do that going up that's our propane line i'm in the propane storage compartment now there's that that hookup that i had to undo um it's just a couple of seat clamps you know standard screw in there's no special sealant or anything that they had on there so i just re-put that together for anybody whether you have a home or you're full-time if you utilize gas to power your appliances you should at a bare minimum have a gas pen but while we're talking about safety i figured i would just show you what a fault looks like on a gas pen in real time so i'll turn the power on again no gas right our levers pointed towards us we got green on the on the regulator so this gas is on turn it off all right powered that off gas is on we're locked tight so we'll power it on just so everybody knows that we're safe right So that's it, finished product. Um, I think that the re repairs are going to help in the future for myself or whoever else owns this for servicing it. Yeah, it's dirty, but what are you gonna do? Um, we did do the test run, put card cardboard underneath, ran it for 30 minutes, no drips of any kind, and we got the full 45 amps and we're able to run all of our appliances and all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, it's fixed. All right, at cool shiz every day.